Welcome to this Football Manager 2016 experiment video where today I'm going to have a look at a World Super League database that someone has created and put on the Steam Workshop. Now this World League database has 200 teams on it ranked from highest to lowest by reputation. So there's 10 divisions and the teams are ranked from highest to lowest reputation. That's how it works. If you want to play on this database yourself, I've put a link to the Steam Workshop file in the description below. Thank you very much to the guy who spent the time to make this database. In this video, I'm going to holiday one season and we're going to see what happens in these 20 divisions in this one season. If you would like me to holiday further into the future, say do a part two where I holiday three more seasons, then hit that like button. And if we get 200 likes a day, then I will do a part two. Now, I did do this on FM15 with a different type of uh, le uh, world league database and it seemed popular, so I thought I'd do it again this year. And it also lets you know about these different databases that you can play with on the game. I know a lot of people have fun on these sort of databases. But we're just going to have a quick look down the leagues first of all, so you can see which team is in which division and maybe you can spot your team that you support in in the respective divisions. So I'm just going to quickly go down. You can pause it if you want to have a look in detail. So division 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and... Oh, Nine, and that's that's the bottom one. Then we've got the Super Cup, the World Super Cup, and it's it's basically been put in <laughs> Liechtenstein divisions. That's how he's done it. So when you load up the game, by the way, you need to select the database, and then you need to select the Liechtenstein league to be able to play on this. That's just a bit of vital information for you that you need to need to know. So I'm going to holiday one season, and we'll see who's managed to win what, who's managed to win the top division. That's going to be probably the most interesting thing to discover. So I've holidayed to the end of the 2015-16 season and as you can see Barcelona won the Super League title, I guess quite predictably so, I suppose it was going to be between Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, but Bayern Munich finished down in 7th place on 64 points, Barcelona won the league then, 72 points, lots of draws there, 19 wins, 15 draws, 4 defeats, it was going to be a tight table because these are the best teams in Europe battling it out. Top four then, Barcelona, City, Real Madrid and Juventus, although the top four is irrelevant because there's no Champions League involved in this. This effectively has replaced the Champions League. Relegated Seville, Porto and AC Milan, those are the unlucky three. Looking at stats, you can see Jackson Martinez, top goal scorer of 26, Lionel Messi got 22, Lewandowski got 20, but Messi was top of the average ratings list. You can see here, Jose Gea was uh, top of the assists and also on the play of the match list he's done very well for Valencia there. Ozil features a couple of times on this as well. Clean sheets, De Gea, Czech and Kayla Navas both all got uh, 10 clean sheets. You can see manager movements. Arsene Wenger has been sacked by Arsenal. Jurgen Klopp left Liverpool and Guardiola has gone to Liverpool. Uh, strangely enough. Uh, Man United have also got rid of Van Gaal. I don't know who's in charge of some of these teams now. So Man United I've got no manager right now, so it must have been at the end of the season they sacked these guys. So Arsenal, Man United are managerless. As oh no, Diego Simeone's gone to Bayern Munich. That's interesting. So let's. I'm going to go down the divisions now. You may want to have a look at the club you support. If you see the club that you support, just let me know in the comment section below where they finished and if you're happy with that or not. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of disappointed people here, unfortunately. Let's go down then. So Division 1 was by, won by Spurs. 83 points. Easily won by Spurs. Quite far ahead of Schalke and Marseille. I don't think there's playoffs in this, by the way. So it's just the top three going up and the bottom three going down. Nice and simple. Fiorentina, Zenit and Dynamo were relegated from this division. You can see Santos, Brazilian team in this list, and International, another South American team. Top goal scorer was Guido Carrillo for Monaco. Harry Kane features in the list as well, 17 goals. Eriksen had the best season out of anyone in terms of, terms of average rating and assists and play of the matches. Eriksen has been really good actually for Spurs this season, helping them get promoted to the top division. A few manager movements there you can see as well. So going down the list, Division 2 won by Newcastle. Real Sociedad also going up with Udinese, you've got Southampton doing quite well in that division, relegated St Etienne, Lille and Celtic. Roberto Martinez got um, sacked by Everton. Let's go down then. 
Division 3, Swansea, promoted with West Ham and Stoke. So three English teams in there. I don't know if the English teams are a little bit overpowered on this, but they seem to be doing rather well. Relegated Braga, Victoria Pizan and AZ. Let's go down. Oh, Sigurdsson. Just have a look here. Average racing. You can see Sigurdsson doing very well. And Paye for West Ham, as you would probably expect. Paye high on the assist list. Sigurdsson and Paye high on the uh, player of the match list there. So going down to Division 4. We see Copenhagen getting promoted with Young Boys and Montpellier. PAOK, -OK, Vitesse and AEK getting relegated. This is when I probably start to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce some of these names as we get further down the list. <laughs> so Division 5, won by Ludogorets, Rapid Vienne and Austria Ven Vienne going up as well. AFC Astra getting relegated with Basakasir, who I've not really heard of before. Liechtenstein team. I don't know if that's a, a mistake that they're so high up, but it's a bit strange for them to be in Division 5, I would say. I don't know, maybe they're the best Liechtenstein team. Villarreal won Division 6, and Fulham and Petrulul went up. Fulham sacked their manager, but still they got promoted. And Cuban, Lech and Thun were relegated. Corley Woodrow, top scorer in this division with 20 goals. Very good season for him. Going down to Division 7, Hull City were promoted. Akpom with 14 goals was second on that list. Deportier, top goal scorer for Ghent. Uh, Greek team Tripolis got promoted with the Danish team AAB. Karabag, Karabag relegated for Hadjak. Uh, Hadrick and Soche Montbe. Let's go down to Division 8. You can have a look at manager movements and that sort of thing as well if you're interested. So down to Division 8, we see Zulti Varagem getting promoted as champions. And Wigan also going up with Esteril and then relegated Vojvodina, Aktukibi and Metalurg. These, these teams, I'm getting to the stage where I'm not really sure I've ever heard of these teams, but... It's still very interesting, and you may you may spot your team in there. You can see Birmingham City in 11th place in this division. And lastly, Division 9, won by Wester Rio with 71 points. SV Reard and AEL getting promoted. There's no teams getting relegated from this division. That's the bottom one. But Alania are unfortunately the team that has to finish bottom of the pile in this um, thing. So, oh look, there's someone called Udegaard, but is that Martin Udegaard? It's not, it's Magna Udegaard, a 23-year-old Norwegian, just going off topic there. So going down to the, the Super Cup, which was won by Inter Milan, 1-0 in the final against Monaco. Just have a look at that for you. So Inter winning the Super Cup and Barcelona winning the Super League. Those are the two big ones, I guess. Um, that's pretty much the end of this Part 1. If you want a part 2, please hit that like button and if there's 200 likes then I will do a part 2 to this experiment. Let me know in the comment section below if you spotted anything odd or let me know which team you support and where they finished on this list. I'm sorry if you don't support one of the teams on this list but uh, anyway. It's been interesting. I do like these sort of um, databases. They, they can be a bit crazy sometimes some strange goings on do happen as we saw on my fm15 version but they still can be a lot of fun and like i said if you want to have a go on this database uh, click on the link in the description below make sure you select the database when you start a new game and also make sure you select the Liechtenstein uh, league before you start the new game so you can then manage in these world leagues thank you to the guy that made this Database, much appreciated. I'm sure lots of people will have a lot of fun on this database. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you very soon.